and also don't take on leads and then not work them and be too lazy to work them. Okay, you need to be consistent and persistent and work them somewhat aggressively. Okay, you need to try to work it down to the bone, so to speak, where she's either going for the, the meetup or she's falling by the wayside. Okay. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I wanna to talk about the concept of leads eroding over time, okay? When you get a phone number, as the days pass, it's going to go colder and colder and colder. And the general rule is that after about a week, the phone number is fairly cold. So you wanna be working your leads very rapidly, okay? And trying to set them for as soon as possible to see the girl before the lead goes cold, okay? We're gonna discuss more about this. Before we continue, please subscribe below if you have not already. Press the notification bell for new videos every single day. And also, if you wanna get very, very, very good at the game, very fast, jump on a free 30 minute call with me, link in the description, and I'll explain to you how I can take you from whatever level you're at to a very advanced level in less than eight weeks, okay? So when you get a phone number, and for the record, you should be getting about 15 to 20 phone numbers a week, okay? And at an advanced level, maybe a little more, 20 to 25 phone numbers a week. You don't wanna be going much over that because you're not gonna be able to work them all in time and leads are gonna fall through the cracks. So you don't wanna take on more than you can handle. So you wanna be working them in rapid succession. Okay, you try to work them very quickly. So the general rule is you wanna work them within 24 to 48 hours. Whenever I'm running a lot of volume and setting a lot of dates, when you look at my calendar, it's usually packed for that whole day, the very next day, packed as well. Okay, and then maybe the next day it has some, but as the day advances, then I'm really setting heavily that next day as well, that, that two days out. And also, as there's cancellations and, and reschedules and flakes and stuff like that, you're also resetting people and you're double and triple stacking time slots as well. But the point is you need to set the girl as fast as possible. If you get a day gain number, you should say, hey, what are you up to tonight? What are you up to after you do your shit that you're doing today? Are you free tonight? Okay, if she's free that night, meet her that night and close. Okay, if she's, if she's not free that night, meet her the next day and try to close then. But you wanna meet them as soon as possible. When I was doing door-to-door -door sales, which I did for a summer to see how it would translate into game scale, I heard the statistic that if you don't close the sale right then and there, the odds of it closing go down 50% per day. So people's buying temperature is a real thing and just other shit is happening in their life, okay? And they're meeting other people and it's not a priority for them, okay? So you need to think of it in the sense that you need to set these girls as fast as possible. If you get a lead and you don't work the lead, it's going to go cold, okay? So don't take on leads if you have no time to work them in, a, in the next few days. And also don't take on leads and then not work them and be too lazy to work them, okay? You need to be consistent and persistent and work them somewhat aggressively, okay? You need to try to work it down to the bone, so to speak, where she's either going for the, the meetup or she's falling by the wayside, okay? So kind of the whole process here, how you get lots of results, so you're acquiring leads like on a daily basis, okay, from your online sources, from the online apps, Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, from night game, bars and clubs, and from day game, okay, streets, malls, etc. And you wanna set them very, very, very fast, okay? And if you don't, as I said, it's going to go cold. So don't, and, and don't do this thing where you try to set out for like a week or two weeks. I have guys that I get, I get them good at getting leads and they're booking out like two, three weeks in advance. The problem is when you get to the second week, the third week, a lot of these girls have forgotten about you and the, the, the flake rate goes way up. So try to get in the habit of, of setting things like in a tight fashion, trying to pack out the first 24 to 48 hours after you get the lead, okay? And, and always have your schedule packed with that whatever free time you have to vote towards dating so you can go and close these things out, okay? Or at least have an attempt to close them out. And it's better to just mass set dates. I'll add that in as well. Even if you don't have time to see the girl, let's say that you only have one date slot, maybe 7 p.m. for a, a given night, just set two or three girls at that time, okay? As it gets closer to the actual date, some will have flaked, some will have rescheduled, and then you'll still be left with slots set. If you have more than one set as the time is coming up, you can politely move one further out. Okay, you can say, hey, I'm, I'm stuck on a meeting. Let's meet in a little bit, I'll keep you posted. Or you can just reschedule it for another day. But since she's already committed to meeting you in the first place, as long as you have like a genuine apology, um, you know, so you're not disrespecting her time, it's already a stronger situation than just some guy she was texting with, okay? It's, she's more on board, more committed and invested since she already agreed to meet up with you in person, 
So I'll leave you with that to make sure you guys are acquiring, as I said, 15 to 20 leads. When guys come on my mentorship program, if they're not used to getting very many phone numbers, I tell them to shoot for the five to 10 leads a week range. Once you're hitting that consistently, bump it to 10 to 15. Once you're hitting that consistently, bump it to 15 to 20. And then at an advanced level, you want about 20 to 25, okay? If you're not getting enough, you need to add in more cold approach sessions, improve your cold approach so you're getting more solid numbers when you do the approaches, and you can run multiple Tinder profiles. Okay, you can run a Tinder bubble and hinge, and I can show you how to run up to five Tinder profiles. If you want that full A to Z solution in the game, jump on a free 30 minute call with me, link in the description. I'll show you how I can get you very, very good, very fast to be collecting a lot of leads. You'll be plugging into my texting flowcharts, mass setting up your dates. I'll show you how to run your dates to bring the girls home and how to close the girls once you're back at the house. And then after you close, how to retain. Okay, so don't delay, jump on that free 30 minute call if you wanna learn the whole system. And also subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe below. New videos every single day. Press the notification bell to be alerted of those new videos. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.